Like yeah. my joint, I'm I, I receive it and I, I put it to work immediately. You know what I'm saying? So it's something that uh, I had bought some red peppers one time. And then I had read that, you know, like uh as far as eating for your blood type. Mm -hmm. You know, and it was like red peppers ain't for my blood type. Like I had just bought them. I was like, you know, I'ma just eat these last ones. I was like, nah, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? So I ain't. You ever eat. tried it? Huh? You ever tried them though? What, the red peppers? Yeah, I love peppers, man. You know what I'm saying? So it was something that I was having issues with digestion though. So what I did was I I'd be willing to uh like when I read certain things, because I'm with doctors, you know, I'm Dr. Africa, Dr. Sebi, and just uh different different ones, you know what I'm saying, in regards to just and doing this research on their own. But I I'll give it a try. Like, all right, you telling me some science like the alkaline, I'll try it. I'll I'll see and see how the body responds to it. Right. So I did the uh the, the, the blood type diet and it responded well. But I was like, you know, I ain't even Yeah, I'm about to say, yeah, if that worked for you. Yeah, you know what what I'm I, I do it in moderation now. Yeah, I think it should be done in moderation. Yeah, man. yeah, that's what I I started doing. Yeah, I'm ready bro. whenever you are, brother. I'm ready whenever you are. Yeah. Yeah, so if you just introduce yourself, you know what I'm saying, we can start wherever you're willing to. All right, we good? Yeah, we loud. All right, man. Poet Deep right here representing military-minded music. Right now, we inside of Franklin Square Park. We west side of Baltimore. Right off of Calhoun Street, where I was born and raised. That's my elementary school right there, you see. You know what I mean? This was my stomping grounds growing up. So, you know, this going to give you a little bit of my story. Take a walk with me. So, however you want to rip it and get it, you feel me? Yeah, so, uh... I suppose we can start wherever you, wherever you comfortable in your childhood. All right, right you know well... What I'm saying? Like, I was raised over here, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, uh, 300 block Calhoun, which is actually another block down past the school. That's my grandparents' home, and it's still there to this day. Because I was born in the house with my grandfather, grandmother, my mother, and two of my uncles. At three, when I was at the age of three, my uncle Aleem, he had got killed. He was killed at uh, Park Heights. So, you know what I mean? That's what happened to Elaine, rest in peace. And then, uh, starting off just being younger, man, I it was so much stuff that used to happen around here, right? It's like, this is it's nowhere near like what it used to be years ago. You know what I mean? I think I just dealt with a lot of confusion. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what, just what was going on? Like, I remember, like, one of my first, like, bouts with confusion came when my Uncle Lane didn't make it home, you know. It was some cheerleaders that came to the house, and um, they told my grandmother that uh, he was killed. And somebody killed him. And, I, and at that age, somehow, I knew that I wasn't going to see him anymore. You know what I'm saying? I was three. And, um, you know, I, I remember the climate, like everybody crying in the house, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. How loud it was, you know what I'm saying? I just remember that that grief that, that, that was just like an energy throughout the house, you know what I mean? Um, then I remember just growing up, there was a lot of people that got shot around here, a lot of people that got killed, you know, and just hearing them gunshots, you know what I'm saying? It got to a point sometimes I didn't even feel comfortable relaxing. Because it's like, you never know. Like, it been times I've been laying like, like like this right now. You know how it is when you don't expect somebody to fall. Like, boom, boom, like, damn. You know what I mean? So, I, I think I just dealt with a lot of, I dealt with a lot of confusion. Um, my father, um, my father um, used to be a drug dealer. He was a kingpin up um, Emerson Village. You know, well known. You know what I mean? Um. He was on the move a lot when uh, when I was younger, so we didn't really spend uh, a lot of quality time. He did used to pick me up. What I do remember is I used to get picked up, and at one time when he was with my brother's mother, who's deceased now, may she rest in peace. She she died. Uh, you know what? I don't even want to put out why I think she died because I don't want to get it wrong. But um, I'll leave that alone. But um, anyway, back to where I was at. 
I used to be, I remember not being with him all the time. I remember, like, being at the house where she was at or the apartment that they was at up Uplands, which is over in um, Emerson Village. Like, that's all I really remember. Then I remember my father finally did get a house. You know what I'm saying? Um, he was on the move a lot. So it was just me. I got, I have, I have, biologically, I have two brothers and I have two sisters. Then my father got married. And by the the, the, uh, the woman that he got married by, she has a daughter as well. So that's my sister too. So I have three sisters and two brothers. So um, with that being said, you know, uh, I had a real difficult relationship uh, with my father. You know, uh, when I was young, I was scared of my father. You know, um, I was scared. And, and in a way, I looked up to him too. Um, my father was like, he was just like no nonsense, you know what I mean? It's funny because now that I'm older and I, I see the difference, he's only 17 years older than me and I'm looking at myself, now I'm almost 30 and my father used to be about like 22 years old in his type of mentality, you know, back then when you're young, you're not factoring in somebody's age, you know what I mean? But my father was no nonsense, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and at times, you know, he was real aggressive, you know what I'm saying, with how he dealt with my brothers and us. As far as, you know, uh, not being compliant to what he wanted, you know what I mean, you know. So, like I said, I was afraid of him, but, you know, and then he had a muscular physique. We was in the wrestling real heavy when I was when I was little. I wasn't in the wrestling as much as uh, one of my brothers was, you know what I mean. Like, my brother, like, he used to have all the damn wrestling men and shit. Like, I'm talking about, like, everything. And, you know, at first you get the ones where it's, though, it's just like you can't even move their arms and shit. You know what I mean? Then, you know, they come out with the ones you can move their arms, you can turn their heads, and, you know what I mean? You know, my brother, he's, you know, he's a stay with that. So that was something that was a good bond for my brothers, you know what I'm saying, was wrestling and video games. Because that's, that's how my brothers and I used to spend a lot of our time. And then, you know, eventually, you know, we put down the controllers and we start wrestling each other. You know what I mean? We used to get beat for that shit, you know what I mean? wrestling, you know what I mean, and, and to a degree I understand, because, you know, my father had a house, he had, you know, valuable items in his house, you know what I mean, um, that's why as a father, me, you know what I mean, because now I'm a father and I have children, I don't really put valuable shit in my living room, that I gotta worry about getting broken, because, um, honestly, when you have little children, your house is supposed to be part of their play area, believe it or not, you know what I'm saying, you know, you want to have a household that is optimal for a child's development and learning, you know what I'm saying? So, and it is learning and playing if it's directed and it's monitored correctly, you know what I'm saying? You can really teach a child a lot by them just playing around in the house. I've taught my children a lot of stuff, a lot of great exercises, escape techniques and stuff like that, just by climbing up the damn wall, you know what I mean? So, you know, you want your, you know, you want to be able to have, uh, the type of environment that is conducive so when your children can't go outside you know they can get a little bit wild in the house I'm not saying you gotta allow them to throw anything but back to my youth um, my father and I I just felt like you know with me me, me period man I, I, as a child I was a timid child you know what I'm saying I was a timid child you know what I mean I wasn't you know, it was at times I had outbursts where though I got crazy saying stuff out of my mouth and that probably was because too much was bottled in. But for the most part, I was a, a, a timid child and it was just certain things that I didn't challenge. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I remember when I was like nine years old and see another thing with my father, like my father's a, uh, he's an elder in the church now. He just got ordained as an elder not too long ago, right? But I remember my father got in the church real heavy. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, I came up in a very strong Christian family. I remember one time he was in, the, we was in the van, and he was like, "Do you want to be saved by your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ?" I said, "Yes." <laughs> so damn, what else was a lie? You know what I mean? It, it, you know, and I'm not gonna say like he coerced me, but you know, he told me the prayer to say and all of that, and I repeated that to him. You know what I mean? And that wasn't even true to me at nine years old. And I look at like I got a son that's like eight years old right now. You can't get my son to say no shit like that because he's so strongly absorbed into who he is and his identity. He would never do nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? Besides the fact that he know that we, we, we're not Christians. You know what I'm saying? That's not part of our ideological belief system. But 
even if it wasn't, he's not going to go along with something. He's going to question it. You know what I mean? I didn't question him or anything. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know, as a child, man, I wanted to get along with everybody. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to get along with everybody. You know what I mean? I wanted to be everybody's friend. I wanted to be cool. You know what I mean? I was a giver. I came from a family of givers. And I started recognizing the richness. As I grew up, I started recognizing the richness that was in that household on Calhoun with my grandmother, my grandfather. I dealt with a family. Family always, like, you know, for the most part, somebody got to say something, they got they, they going to say that shit to you. You know what I'm saying? They're going to tell you what it is. People going to correct you. You know what I'm saying? Like, like my immediate family, man, ain't no cutthroat in my in my immediate family. You know what I mean? No cutthroats. You know what I'm saying? You put I I like I've been around people family settings where like they can't even put money down. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? We ain't grow up in no house like that. You know what I mean? Even when I was in the streets and I started doing dirt, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about robberies and all that shit, man. I never stole from my mother. You understand what I'm saying? She could have all her money laid out and I could be down bad hurt. I'm not gonna touch her money. You understand what I'm saying? Because that's just that's just how I was brought into existence. I wasn't I wasn't brought into existence to even have a mentality mm -hmm. like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If I if I needed money, my mind was on, you know what I'm saying, shit, I gotta go, you know, go hit labor ready, you know what I'm saying? Or or what's the plans we gonna make to hit these streets? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that was the mentality, you know what I mean? Rather than, you know, let me go let me go against one of my direct own somebody who's been beneficial to my existence. So Early on, you know, I kept getting reminders about how bad being so friendly was. You know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of guys around here took advantage of me. You know what I'm saying? A lot of them. You know, um, they play that. You know, they play that game. And see, when I come, when I as I got older, and when I really start start getting involved in the streets and understand.